Hey, what's going on guys? Lucas Sacco here. Um, last week, I uh, took a break from the game, uh, took a little step back, but this week I'm back with some more uh, Phantom Nightmare testing. In this video, I'm going to show you over some uh, Evil Tile stuff with the Snake Eye cards. I know that that's been getting a lot of popularity online. Uh, that's why Lars is starting to jump up in price here. Um, I'll show you the, the basic one card combo. It's, it's Snake Eye Ash, um, but it, it can really be anything. Snake Eye Ash, Bonfire, Diabellsar, Wanted. There, there is quite a bit of cards that, that start to combo. I'm just going to show you the most basic version. So you go normal summon Snake Eye Ash, activate the effect to go ahead and add Populous to hand. This card is absolutely broken, enabling a bunch of silly things all around. Uh, Populous is added to hand, effect triggers to special summon, we're going to special summon it out and trigger the effect on field, which is going to add a Snake Eye Spell or Trap. And this card right here that's played with the Wanted Package, original, uh, for some reason it says Snake Eye in its text. So we're going to link one, link Karibo, trigger Populous' Graveyard effect, because this does more stuff. Puts itself in the spell and trap card zone. Activate sim simple spoil snake eye, sending the populace here. And this is where we're going to summon our cool stuff. So, this uh, card right here, Evil Tile Mecha Corella, it, uh, it's summoned four. So, we can't get nibbed yet. And this card says, Tribute one reptile, discard a card, specimen one level six or lower, fire dino from your deck. The rest of the text matters, but not really in this instance. Uh, but you're going to go ahead and activate the effect, tributing itself and discarding a card in your hand. And we're going to summon out Evil Soar Lyos. On Lyos' summon, it's going to set Evil Singularity from deck. So now, if we get nibbed here, uh, we do still have this trap card. And this trap card says, target one Evil Tile monster and one Evil Soar monster in your graveyard. Special summon one Evil Zar XCs from your extra deck and attach those guys as material. So this is how you really play around Nib. Um, this is some five years. So if we do get nibbed, we have access to a Lars or a Dolko on our opponent's turn. And the best thing about this trap is since it's special summons from the extra deck and attaches, this card can't get belled. It's really hard to interact with it. Um, and it doesn't have to attach both materials. So even if they like call by or crow one of the materials, you're still gonna summon and attach the other one. So that's great. Uh, now we're gonna do activate Ash effect, sending the Link Karibo and Ash itself. Summon out Snake Eye Oak. Activate Snake Eye Oak effect to summon from the graveyard. It doesn't really matter what you summon. I like to summon Mega Corellia. Then we're going to activate the effect of Oak, sending itself and Mega Corella to summon Flame Burge. Now, from here, if you've seen any of the Snake Eye combos, you'll understand what we do. Any two monsters, including Flame Burge, is the Snake Eye combo at its base. So we're going to link away into IP, trigger the effect to summon back two level one fires from the graveyard. Then we're going to link anybody in IP into Promethean Princess, using the effect to revive back the Flame Burge to the field. Flame Burge effect to put the IP in the Spell Trap Zone, and then we can link away that one extra body we had from earlier in the, flame, or in the uh, Promethean Princess into Amblet Whale. So uh, for one card, we got a lot of disruptions here, and quite a bit of follow-up actually, because on the opponent's turn, we obviously have Flame Burge to summon out the IP, IP on our opponent's turn. Link with the Flame Burge and itself. Making a Little Knight. Little Knight effect to banish. Flame Burge effect to revive. Summons out Oak. And Snake Eye Ash. Uh, structure Chainlinks however you want, but Ash effect and Oak effect. Use Oak to go ahead and summon back the Populace. Ash resolves. I usually like to add Birch here because it's the easiest extender to use when you're breaking the board back. Then you're going to trigger the Populous effect to add another Snake Eye card from deck to hand. We have quite a few other disruptions still. We have Little Knight banishing itself and another piece of, of interaction for follow-up where we could banish one of their cards. We have Flame, uh, sorry, we have the, the Promethean Princess to pop Amblow Will to pop their card. We have this Amblow Will here. Uh, in case something happens and a, a link three or lower is destroyed, so if they destroy our Promethean, we can trigger the effect and get a non-target pop. And we do still have our, our big power play in the Evo Singularity to go ahead and summon either Lars or Dolka. Lars is probably the better option. This gives you a, a full Omni Negate, not just once but twice per turn. And this card's uh, pretty hard to out as they're going into boards, just because this card can't be targeted with monster effects as long as it has material. So, 
we've gotten a bunch of follow up here. It's very hard to die. Multiple disruptions here. I don't know if I have a very simple combo with minimal bricks. I'm going to show you guys the uh, the deck profile for it here, or just a basic deck. Uh, this deck can play 15 hand traps, which is uh, a lot for, for modern age, uh, as well as playing like prosperity for consistency reasons. This deck has upwards of like 16, 18 starters they can play, and uh, that's just really consistent overall, considering you only have to play three of these evil sword cards. And uh, really, none of them are, are super big bricks. Evil Singularity is like quote unquote the worst brick, but it's just a card that you're, you're not setting from deck instead of you're setting it from hand. So that's really it. Uh, I want to appreciate you guys um, like subscribing recently and leaving a bunch of comments. Uh, it started to pick up a bunch, and I do really appreciate you guys, and, and thank you for watching the video. Have a good day.